I'm out for brunch with her. She stayed around last night. We've got matcha coconut lattes. Hat's got a little fried potatoes over there. Hat's gone for the pancakes with bacon. Um, and I've got the banana and strawberry. They look so good. So, I haven't actually vlogged properly this morning, but Hat stayed around last night. And um, me and Megan Hat went to Nando's. And we just had a bit of a reunion. We ate in the car. Um, but yeah, we're just at Russian Lakes right now. We just had a bills. Um, it was really good. We had pancakes, but we both couldn't finish them because they were like really filling. I think I only made one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and they, we also um, tried um, one of the matcha coconut lattes that they do, and they're so good, aren't yeah. they? Well, ask for extra sugar because it yeah. makes it. Yeah, I actually did. I didn't try it before the sugar. But, but yeah, so we're now just having a wander around um, Russian Lakes. Probably going to grab a coffee before we yeah. head back. Oh, we're going to see if the cafe near in House Springs is open. Oh yeah, please. I literally haven't had a cafe near. Have you had a cafe near since Lincoln? No, it makes me so sad. But yeah, we're just having a little wander about the streets. So, um, me and Hat just noticed that the Cafe Nero in our house of Fraser has finally opened. Got, I got a nice latte, did you as well? Got the same drink. A double espresso shot. Though. Yeah, I got a double espresso. Cheers. So strong and it tastes so good. I was saying to Hat, like, it tastes of Lincoln. Because <laughs> I haven't had one since I was in Lincoln four months like ago. Home. Yeah, it tastes like home. <laughs> and we've grabbed some deck chairs, these are cute. And we're sat um, by the lakes, just having a little look around. It's really pretty. But it's cute. Our plans are. What are our plans? We want to go see my grandparents because my granddad just came out of hospital and just to check he's okay. And um, then we want to go to McDonald's later. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. And then I got him that Fred drive off. Yeah. So Hattie's just left. Um, I really miss her already. But we had a really nice time. Just had like a wander around Rushton Lakes. Got a Cafe Nero. Just had a good time. Aiden kindly set up my Roku stick that I got sent a couple of weeks ago. And it's actually amazing. It's basically like a fire stick. And it has like all of the like main sort of channels and stuff on here. So far I've just set up like my Spotify and Netflix. Because they're like the most important to me. But it has like Disney Plus, Hey You, you know, ITV, all that stuff. Um, and I'm just playing this like acoustic album that I found on Spotify it's actually really relaxing and I'm just sat here about to edit some videos which is really nice I need to get back into this because I've had such a busy week away like went to Birmingham with Carrie and then I had Hattie around this weekend so uh, I need to get cracking with some work but I've had some really amazing news over the past couple of days with some things coming up and obviously me and Carrie have just released the consistency presets last night which I actually didn't film the launch because I was so stressed out and something went wrong literally 15 minutes before launch and we literally had to panic and re-upload everything again to the website so yeah, it was absolutely manic yesterday but the consistency launch went down really well if you um, haven't seen um, me and Carrie have released a third group of presets in a little preset duo pack it is strawberry daiquiri and peach bellini keeping on the drinks theme that we've got running with our preset packs at the minute um, and they are so gorgeous they're catered for all the beautiful summer pics you guys are taking and honestly thanks to anyone who got involved and sent some photos for us to share for the launch because they're insane like I'm so excited I'm so so excited um, with the amount of people that have got them already. I'm gonna pop on screen what Peach Bellini looks like on some of my photos from Bali because it literally looks incredible. Um, I also love Strawberry Daiquiri because it gives that gorgeous like pink sort of tone, perfect for like sunset pics, like evening pics. We are so grateful again as always for all of the support and we've got some really exciting things in the works as you've probably known from my previous vlog when I was in Birmingham with Carrie. But yeah, so I'm gonna just sit here now, um, do some editing. And Good morning. 
morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog um so this morning i have been um to mimi's she's back open again now mimi's one of my good friends is a beautician and she's just done my nails this morning they literally look amazing i really wanted to go for like neutral nude sort of like blending vibes I do actually need to fake tan i think because i think it will make the nude pop but yeah it was just so nice seeing her and my like nails just feel really like nourished <laughs> um and just really good and it was just you know so nice to have like a little chat over my get yeah, my nails done obviously everything was done really safely like had all my mask on and all and uh, Mimi was wearing all of her PPE and everything but yeah it was just really nice to just have a nice chat with someone again someone um familiar again look how bad my skin's breaking out I got like a bite on my eyebrow when me and Carrie stayed in Birmingham the other day I don't know if it was something in the room which is kind of giving me the fear or what but yeah my skin is really broken out so I'm gonna try and fix this maybe not wear some makeup for the next few days which it's going to be difficult because I want to film some videos and I like putting makeup on for videos I don't know so we'll see but um I'm just going to drive home now do a little bit of editing pick my mum up from work um and then just have a nice day probably catching up on some like admin stuff because I've been out and about this week meeting up with friends which has been amazing and going to like some meetings and things but um yeah I really need to just have a little chill and do some like editing and emails and things. So that's my plan for the day. And then I think later we're going to my nan and granddad's for a Chinese, which should be a maze. My granddad's out of hospital. So basically I haven't actually explained this on my vlog, but my granddad got taken into hospital a couple of weeks ago um, and then had all of his tests and then he got dismissed the next day, I think. And then another test came back saying that he had like a sort of a blockage um, and he felt a bit funny. And I think he had some like gallstones, which were blocking some like some tubes going to the liver and because he doesn't have a gallbladder I think it made everything a little bit worse but he had keyhole surgery and everything's all good he's in recovery now he's back at home which is amazing and yeah so we're all gonna go around to have a nice little Chinese tonight all socially distanced of course but yeah I'm just fe I'm feeling in a really good mood today I think it's because I've got up early the sun's out um I've got my nails done I feel a little bit more put together I just need to do like a nice bit of skincare when I get back and um, to make my face feel a little bit loved <laughs> good morning everyone um so i think the last clips that i took were yesterday when me and aiden went on a really nice walk we went to a place called harold odell country park where i went with amelia a few weeks ago one of my friends from work we had a picnic there i had no idea how close it was to me it's like 15 minutes in the car um, and me and aiden had a really nice like walk with barney absolutely beautiful i wish i took my camera um but today i'm actually heading to nottingham i'm going to see amy which will be really nice so because uh, I haven't seen her I think since January so about six months now which is just crazy to me and um, so yeah we really nice to see Amy have a little bit of a catch up I'll show you where we go and I'll let you guys know um along the way like how everything's being dealt with coronavirus wise and um, because I know a lot of you guys have messaged me on Instagram and stuff asking questions about places that I've been like how are they staying um cautious and the regulations they've put into place but obviously everywhere is following the government guidelines um that I've been so far for example bills um and Rushton Lakes and everything they've all been following the guidelines perfectly everyone's been wearing a mask or most people have been wearing a mask and soon it will be compulsory so hopefully it'll only get safer from here um but yeah it's been really nice to actually catch up with my friends now that we physically that we're actually allowed to it's keeping me a little bit sane um because i was getting a little bit sick of being in these four walls so yeah i'm off to the station off to go see ames now Woo! Woo and so just arrived at bill's i'm sweating and i'm so hungry <laughs> um i've got a chicken burger super chair fries we've both gone for matcha coconut lattes because they're basic they bitches amazing. they're so good though um, and what have you got over there, Ames um, Banks? I've got chicken skewers, <laughs> a little salad, some satsuki and some flatbread. Sexy, sexy. <laughs> pictures because we are basic bitches oh my god it's so nice to be back together it is i've not had a vlogging friend in so long actually how i said that chloe came on the vlog a lot of the weekend oh nice. i'm excited for that vlog i was gonna ask you to vlog that no, weekend vlog yeah go yeah, check out so. amy's channel <laughs> this is where we oh someone coming but we can't have come here i'm actually taking over your vlog sorry <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to alto woo woo <laughs> Look how peng. And um, we've got Cosmopolitans and what else? 
Oh, gin sling, gin sling, gin, gin sling. Singapore gin sling or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, Peng, I haven't tried them yet, but they look delish. And I've got this new little jumper on from Zara. Cute. So cute. Cute. <laughs> Right, so I have just gotten back from the station. Um, so many delays, always a massive ordeal. I feel like I just have the worst luck with trains. Um, but I'm back home, I'm safe. There was literally only one other person on my carriage, so I wasn't around a lot of people, which was great. There was just like some sort of signaling delays, I think. Um, but I'm back now and I had a really nice time with Amy. It was really nice to catch up and like finally see people again in real life and just have a little bit of normality back. Um, obviously, being safe and everything too but yeah i've just got back and i just wanted to show you a couple of little purchases that i made whilst we were out and about you on the side it's like amy is messaging me to make sure i'm home back safe we love you amy oh my god shout out to the girl in bills who um watches mine and amy's videos like honestly it made an absolute day um the waitress that was serving us um said that she'd watched mine and amy's uni vlogs and we love you um it honestly genuinely makes our day we were saying because we always forget that actual real life people watch our videos see when we're talking to the camera it just feels like we're talking to nothing when we upload it it feels like no one's actually seeing it if you know what i mean so it was really nice to have a chat with her so big shout out we didn't we did i don't think we caught um your name but please message me on insta because i really want to thank you <laughs> um we had a mooch around the shops and i picked up some new joggers because my um top shop joggers are literally so ruined they're all bobbly there's stains all over them i literally worn them to absolute death but i am going to upcycle them i think I, i'm feeling of i'm thinking of cutting them into like little shorts because those sort of like casual boy shorts are my favorite things ever to wear at the minute i needed some new gray like mild joggers because i wear these to death with everything um obviously i know it's summer now but the english weather is literally so shit um so i do wear joggers still quite a lot um and i got the es franz um brand in urban outfitters because they're my absolute faves um and they do really good quality items so yeah i got the it's franz ones they were 36 i got them in a size small i'm actually gonna try these on now bear with i'm gonna try these on because obviously you can't try on at clothing shops at the minute this is a t-shirt dress so um but i got these in a size small amy said to me that she has um joggers from urban outfitters and i do too and i think i actually did size up too much when i bought my ones before but these are a size small and bearing in mind i'm like a 12 14 on my bottom um these just looked really big so i'm going to show you what they look like on because i haven't actually tried them myself yet um oh cute so these were a size small so i definitely recommend sizing down i'd usually go for like a medium or large in urban outfitters um but these i got in a small which i'm really quite shocked about i don't know what size they go down to and then i got a couple of bits from zara as well um but i don't know if i'm gonna return have to return them because i don't think they're these shorts are gonna fit me i don't know i just got the biggest size available but i still don't think they're gonna fit but they look so nice and i really am hoping they do but i'll let you guys know um, and I thought, because I'm going obviously to Bath tomorrow, I can return anything if I do need to. Um, but look at these shorts. I'm still trying to find that perfect denim short. And I can't <laughs> anywhere. So let me know if you know any of any good shops that sell blue denim shorts that are really good. I love the mom style. I just find them most flattering on me. And then I picked out the cutest little jumper. It was in the sale. And I just absolutely loved it. Look how cute this is. It like, like fully buttons up to the top. I'd probably wear it with a couple of buttons undone. It's got this cute little floral pattern. It's sort of like a lemony cream colour with pink and blue flowers on. And then that it's long sleeved but yeah i hope you're all doing really well um i'm actually just about to pack up my bags because me and aiden are off to bath tomorrow we're going for two nights we had our new york new york trip cancelled and we really wanted to sort of like have a little getaway explore somewhere different and i feel like the best and safest way to do that right now is to go to like a little city in the uk so that's what we're gonna do we're staying in a premier inn i think but i'm really looking forward to it just having an, a nice explore around bath i have um put on my insta actually let me sit down i put on my in insta um places um to go in bath that people would recommend and what have we got so far let's have a look what people have said i've got some dms that i actually haven't looked at yet um with long responses but so far for bath we've got just in case anyone else is going there oh my god my makeup has literally been swiped off royal crescent roman baths the fashion museum the roman baths um terrace bar royal crescent has come up again vino vino sally lunds 
um, a, which is a really cute tea house, the pump rooms for nice breakfast, the circle, Boston tea party in the centre for breakfast, courtyard cafe, pizza at the oven, cafe Luca, society cafe, literally just tons of your guys recommendations so the next vlog will be me and aiden in bath i'm gonna do like a 48 hours in bath best things to do like or things that we've done anyway just to sort of give you some recommendations i've all me and aiden have said we've always wanted to go to bath um it's one of our like sort of top things that we wanted to do in the uk i really also want to visit brighton bristol like i've spoken about this too many times already um but i do love exploring a new uk city and i feel like there are places closer to home you know than always traveling abroad so it will be really nice to have a little explore but for now i'm gonna pack up go to agents and i think we're having a pizza night tonight before we head off tomorrow so yum okay so um i just thought because i actually wanted some little shorts to take um to bath i've just cut up my top shop joggers um, and it does look a bit shabby but i quite like the like raw hem just a bit messy sort of look like i just think it's really casual so absolutely buzzing about those so definitely if you've got some old bobbly joggers that are a bit grim and a bit gross maybe try cutting them into some shorts to see if they you can still sort of like salvage them and make them work um i've literally had these for like a few years now so it's time to say goodbye to the joggers and hello to the shorts so i'm gonna pop the, this in my suitcase mm -hmm. 